These are the Alps, one of the most famous mountain ranges in the world. In summer, snow glistens on the mountain peaks, while warmer weather welcomes eager hikers seeking to enjoy world-class views of alpine valleys, forests, countless waterfalls, mountain vistas and more. If you're new around here, we're Jack and Joe, that's our scruffy hitchhiker Frank, and this is Big P, our home on wheels that's taken us to wild places all over the UK and Europe. If you like the sound of this adventure, then come along with us on these wild journeys through the Swiss Alps. Hello, welcome back. We're no longer in Scotland. We're now on what I'm coining our European mountain series. We've kind of spent the past six months, maybe a little bit longer, exploring beaches. And now we're switching up to forest, mountain views, alpine meadows. We're really, really excited. And our first stop is Switzerland. The weather's not too amazing, but we're hoping it's going to clear up this afternoon and hopefully further on into our week worth of adventures. Come along with us. Oh, I can see blue skies. So we're gonna head down into Interlaken, which is the town down there. We're gonna grab a train. We're gonna head out on a big hike in the Swiss Alps. Aren't they? <laughs> Do you think the fact that no one's getting on and it's a busy Saturday during the summer holidays is because there's no view up there, Joe? It's possible. It's possible. But we've got our own. This is going to be like a roller coaster. Are you ready? I saw it shoot up. We're in touch and we've got shiny things. You ready? Frank, you ready? It's going to be like a roller coaster, dude. Nah, give it time. At least you get caught up. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> See, I told you it goes fast! <laughs> oh my god! I told you it goes fast! <laughs> oh my god! That was unexpected. <laughs> wow, look at these views! We've taken so much public transport today and every single ride has been stupidly scenic. The reason why we're so far out of town is because it's the Swiss holidays and we literally couldn't get a campsite um, close enough to Grindelwald or um, Lauterbrunnen which is another piece on the other side of the Alps. But the campsite they were staying at is really really nice and the aim of today is we're taking this cable car up to a very scenic view filled <laughs> as we crawl through the clouds. We're literally, in the clouds. We're literally in the clouds. We're going up to a place called the Eiger Glacier and then basically you can hike down to a train station. So it's supposed to be a really nice scene. Well, no one's hiking, everyone's going down in the actual. What, what is this thing called? Gondola. It's, kind of, it's not really a gondola though. No, it's called a gondola. Oh, okay. That's They're all going down in the gondolas. They like to follow them with the only one going up. Give it a go. <laughs> I think we hike down anyway. Yeah, the views are pretty amazing anyway. And got nothing better to do this afternoon. Got nothing better to do. What a place to be stuck with nothing better to do. <laughs> Despite our doubts, there was no turning back as the Iger Express shot us up to 2,320 metres in altitude. Let's 
So the walk should take about two hours, but I mean, we've probably only walked about 70 meters and all I've done is just take pictures. But it's bloody beautiful. Oh, yeah, of course I was talking about you, but also the view. It's beautiful and I think the clouds kind of part in, but the cloud also makes the view. Good boy, bird. Are you okay, Joe? <laughs> We'll get through the cloud and the views will be good, I reckon. Hopefully. Just be careful. So the clouds cleared as we got a little bit further down and we've just been stuck looking at this view we sat on a bench oh my god it's just ridiculous like more and more every time like i look every time i look back at the view more is revealed because the clouds the sun's kind of burning off the cloud you can see the ridge of i don't even know what mountain range it is but bloody beautiful as always like look at like oh, If anyone's following us on this trail, all they, can, all they will be hearing is, oh my God, oh my word. <laughs> I actually don't, I genuinely don't want this hike to end. Looks like we saved the best to last for the waterfall on this trek. A massive one coming up the side of a cliff, look. <laughs> wow. So as we come down, look, we can actually see what we've been hiking along, like this incredible like mountain ridge. So we're gonna get down to the train station, see if we can find somewhere to have a nice refreshing alcoholic drink. I'm thinking of beer and Joe's got wine in her mind. After a tiny bit more hiking, we found a bar and treated ourselves to a very welcome pint with a beautiful view to end our first day in Switzerland. Our second day in Switzerland started with a little less mist but with a threat of a bit of rain. So we woke early, packed up our backpacks, left our campsite and headed back onto the bus and then a train to the valley of Lauterbrunnen. So we're in Lauterbrunnen, which is like a big kind of glacial valley, really high cliffs on either side. And it served as the inspiration for, for Rivendell in The Lord of the Rings, because it has 72 waterfalls dotted along the valley. And we're gonna do a really nice and flat walk because yesterday's walk was actually a bit intense for our legs, wasn't it, Joe? <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna go explore some waterfalls. And the day's looking all right, a bit rainy but still quite nice and beautiful. So 
well as being famous for waterfalls, Lauterbrunn and Valley is also famous for base jumpers. And we're pretty certain we saw like, well, two parachutes come out and they must have just jumped off the side of the cliff. Imagine having the balls to do that, just like off there. But the helicopters that fly over, I think drop them onto the highest point and then, uh, yeah, they just jump off, <laughs> launch themselves off the side and land down back into this valley. Pretty cool. Do we go base jumping, Joe? There's a guy, backpack. there is a guy in Switzerland that base jumps with his dog. Oh. He's like a border collie. I think folks might enjoy it. Mm. <laughs> he doesn't like going up the steps into a van. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if base jumping's a Frank. At the end of the four kilometre walk, you can catch a bus back or walk. However, we chose a different, slightly more scenic option and took the cable car up to the traditional alpine village of Muren. Yeah, we took a cable car up to probably one of the most scenic alpine villages in the world. <laughs> and the views are exceptional. We'll go have a quick drink before the cloud comes in. Although the cloud is coming back in. Got glue vine there, feeling a bit uh, Christmas markety, are you? Christmas <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. You gonna cheers me? Oh yeah. The look in the eyes, eh? Cheers. Prost. That's not from a perfect bottle. Really? Yeah. Uh, you might like that, you know. I've got a massive beer. I guess this is the perks of uh, just taking public transport. <laughs> yeah. It means I can have a huge beer <laughs> mid-afternoon. We also grab some food. And it's essentially, well it's a rusty, so it's basically a massive hash brown with loads of like fruit and veg on. Fruit? Fruit and veg? No, just veg. But it's exactly what I wanted, I didn't even realise. It's so tasty. And this view is just mental. It's, it's a ridiculous view to be eating food to. Good morning. We're picking up the camera after a few days of work. We're in a beautiful Swiss kind of alpine town called Abel Boden, I think is what it's called. Um, and we've been staring at this big mountain waterfall view from this air that we're staying in, which is like 15 Swiss francs a night, which is about 15 quid. And we've been thinking, wow, we really want to hike that. So this morning we're going to go hike this waterfall and this mountain and this snowy peak that we've been staring at all day. Joe's ready, Frank's ready. Let's load up the van and then we're gonna head five minutes up the road to the car park. Bit of a Swiss uh, traffic jam ahead of us. <laughs> just literally oh that's wow, look at that you just the back of the truck. <laughs> Decision on that. Oh my god! That's how they do stuff in Switzerland. <laughs> That's just come straight off the mountain. <laughs> it's like he's pulling the helicopter down. The helicopter down. 
Imagine you're like sleeping on those mounds on the left there. <laughs> What's this racket? Up there. is awesome and this is like a communal like camping firewood area it's even got an axe which is like connected to a chain i don't think you can stay here but i think it's for like having dinner and like having a campfire and stuff yeah but then you can stay in the car park and it does say for there is like a toilet in the campsite for for campers i don't know it's awesome though isn't it Go on, right chop some wood yes <laughs> i've never chopped wood before so this could be the most frank pathetic, move out the way pathetic thing you'll ever see <laughs> oh my god, it really takes a lot of effort to cut into that. Oh no. Uh -oh. It's stuck. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say maybe you need a bit of practice before you live out in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe leave that to the the wood the wood smashed it <laughs> first time. Anyway, I think I've just proved proved my chops as a outdoor survival expert. Let's go check out this waterfall. <laughs> Beautiful way to start the day. Look at it. Switzerland's second highest waterfall. And because this area is a little bit off the main tourist trail, we literally just picked this spot because it just had a reasonably priced place to park the van for a few days whilst we work. Yeah, look how beautiful it is. Joe, there's three options now to get up to the top of the mountain peak. Option one, we hike. Option two, you can actually do a mount like a, a mountain mountaineering, mountain climb, like sorry, cliff face climb up the waterfall. Or we could take the gondola. Which one do you want to do? Mm. <laughs> I thought that'd be the answer. We don't want option two. No, okay. No, you're not from one. Oh, I love it. floor for having a lovely drink. This view is uh, Joe's just bought. Two packets of crisps, a coffee and an apple juice. How much did it cost Joe? 14 Swiss francs. Which is about 13 pounds. Yeah, we can't afford to stay here much longer. <laughs> We're going to have to get out of Switzerland. <laughs> Especially with our addiction to gondolas.
So the walk we're doing is called the R Rund Wanderweg. It's just a loop that takes you around this like, uh, I guess what would you call it? Alpine glacier valley. Very beautiful, very warm today. Lots of cows about. Um, you can just hear like the cowbells just kind of dingling in the background. Very alpine. Oh, it's a little baby one. Look at that. So we've realised why there's so many cows up here. Down where we were parked for the week, in this, there was like an information board that said in June, all the people in the surrounding area kind of marched all their cows hike up the hike up the mountain and this is like their summer pasture so it all makes sense now and why there's no cows in the town despite there being like you know cow fields really cool but imagine watching like i don't know 100 odd cows doing the hike up because they can't take the gondola up joe they can't take the gondola up all right you ready frank Beautiful hike, we just chilled in our van, had lunch, and now I think we're going to leave Switzerland because we need to be somewhere that's a bit cheaper. Yeah. But, money well spent, we had a bloody lovely time in Switzerland, and Frank has had a blast, haven't you Frank? I'm tired now. It's definitely heating up, but yeah, let's, let's go on a lovely scenic drive to the French Alps. We left Switzerland, headed for the French Alps, but to be honest with you, we didn't do too much. The weather heated up, we found ourselves by Lake Annecy, and we didn't do too much apart from ride around the lake with Frank in a backpack. However, we are now in the Dolomites, and our next video is gonna be a great one, as we explore some even more beautiful alpine scenery, drink more beer to scenic views, and of course, continue our gondola addiction. Thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video or have any questions about our trip, chuck it in the comment box below. And if not already, hit that subscribe button. We'll catch you on the next adventure.